Okay, as promised, I said I would do a little video about the blues shuffle. And we've been doing this in shortened red rock. Um, so some of it we've been doing in the F. So when we play the F, adding the finger on to create a D minor. So the shuffle. So we can use that um, when we've got a long bit of an F chord, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, to develop further that F shuffle, um, you can do something like this. So we're adding that extra note. So basically these are the notes we're using on the third string. So it'll be open, second fret, third fret and I'm using the pinky there whilst keeping the F chord on. Um, so you can play around with that in Shortening Bread Rock or in other blues songs. Okay and the other week, last week, we decided we could probably put in a C blues shuffle as well. So what I would do is play this little C5 chord that we've talked about which is these two notes here, the C chord and the one above it, which is a G note, and we're using the fourth and the third finger. So what we're going to do is bring the first finger over the top onto the fourth string on the second fret, and then we're going to add the second finger on the third fret on the same string, covering up that first finger note, then we take it off again. So our notes are open, second, third, second, Let's try it with the chord while we leave the chord on. So it'll still be down up in a blue shuffle kind of feel. Here we go. shortening bread rock if there's a C that's hanging about for a while with not much happening uh, especially when the soloist is playing or in intros and outros we can use this little blue shuffle 